Hello everyone, in the world. Currently, there are approximately 200 million large and small lakes and ponds. You didn't miss here. And this is the story of the top 10 largest lakes in the world, based on their actual surface area. So, what are the top 10 largest lakes in the world in terms of surface area? Let's explore together. Welcome to EarthX YouTube channel. Starting with number 10 is the Great Slave Lake, with an area of 27,200 square kilometers. It is located in North America and is also the deepest lake in the region, reaching a depth of 614 meters. The lake stretches for 169 kilometers in length and varies from 20 to over 200 kilometers in width in different sections. Its name comes from a local indigenous tribe living in the area. Being located near the southern part of the Arctic Circle, the lake freezes during winter, allowing people to create ice roads for travel. In other seasons, it serves as a popular fishing destination. Over the surface area of 27,200 square kilometers, the varying depths of the water in the lake create differences in climate and plant life within the region. Therefore, there are plenty of opportunities for people to visit this lake and experience life here, not only for observing vegetation, but also for encountering various animals, especially to admire the magnificent bird species. You can find species like bald eagles, swans, seagulls, ducks, and geese here. At number 9, we have Lake Malawi. With an area of 29,600 square kilometers, almost the size of Belgium, it lies between Malawi, Mozambique, and Tanzania, with a length ranging from 560 to 580 kilometers and a maximum width of about 75 kilometers. Lake Malawi is home to a diverse range of fish species, making it one of the most biodiverse freshwater lakes on the planet. It has been a significant conservation area in recent decades, preserving numerous unique species. The name of the lake has been the subject of much controversy. Naturally, Malawi, a country surrounding the lake, would want to name as Lake Malawi, while the other countries do not want to call it that way, because it would be akin to asserting that the lake belongs exclusively to the nation of Malawi. Therefore, in some other documents, you may see this lake referred to by a different name, Lake Miyaso. Moreover, the lake has a delightful nickname, Lake of a Thousand Stars, which originates from the light emitted by the lanterns of fishermen on the lake, as they row their boats and fish. The scene resembles stars shining in the sky. Alternatively, there is another less romantic name for the lake, Lake of Storms. Due to the frequent occurrence of severe and unpredictable storms that sweep through the lake area. Over the past millennium, Lake Malawi has been a primary food source for the inhabitants living along its shores as it is abundant with various fish species, most notably the cichlid fish, also known as the emperor fish. Additionally, the lake is home to hundreds of endemic species found nowhere else. Among these, many have become favorites for aquarium enthusiasts due to their vibrant and colorful appearances. Now at number 8 is the Great Bear Lake, covering an area of 31. 153 square kilometers. This lake is also known as the Lake of the Great Bear. It is the largest freshwater lake, entirely within the borders of Canada and the fourth largest in North America, with an average depth of 70 to meters and a total shoreline length of 2,719 kilometers. Lake of the Great Bear remains mostly frozen during winter and is considered one of the most pristine and remote lakes in the world. An explorer once wrote about the lake's clarity like this. When he placed a white cloth into the lake and let it sink, he could still see the white cloth at a depth of up to 27 meters. This lake plays a vital role in the identity, customs, and culture of the indigenous peoples. The indigenous people here believe that Lake Huron is the heart of the earth, and when this lake dries up or is affected, it signifies the earth moving towards its doomsday. 
At number 7, we have Lake Baikal. Famous for its immense size despite being the seventh largest. By surface area, 31,500 square kilometers. However, in terms of volume, it is the largest freshwater lake on Earth, holding nearly a quarter of the planet's freshwater supply. This is also the deepest lake on the planet, with a depth of 1,642 meters. Because of its great depth, Lake Baikal has an enormous volume when calculated. Furthermore, this is also one of the oldest freshwater lakes on the planet. Despite the incredible depth of Lake Baikal, its water still contains a high level of oxygen, allowing various organisms to thrive at different depths. One particular species found in the lake is the Baikal seal, a unique freshwater seal species found only in this region of the world. On the lake shores, you can also find brown bears, wolves, deer, various bird species, numerous rodents, and smaller carnivorous animals. Moving on to number 6, we have Lake Tanganyika, covering an area of 32,600 square kilometers. This lake is situated within the territories of four countries. Burundi, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Tanzania, and Zambia. Among them, the combined area of Lake Tanganyika, belonging to the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Tanzania accounts for nearly 90% of the lake's total area. From the lake, water flows into the Congo River system and eventually empties into the Atlantic Ocean. This lake is the longest in the world, with a length of 673 kilometers in north-south direction. The lake is located at an altitude of over 700 meters above sea level, and most of its shores are surrounded by mountains. This is a very special lake, Lake Tanganyika, it's the place where the famous revolutionary Guevara used this area as a base for the revolution in Congo. This lake is also identified as a place where people find the notorious man-eating crocodiles. The crocodiles have killed hundreds of people every year. Now, breaking into the top five, we have Lake Michigan with a surface area of 58,000 square kilometers. 58 zero square kilometers is equivalent to the area of which country? 58,000 square kilometers means it is slightly larger than the area of Croatia. This is the only lake among the top five largest lakes in North America. The lake is entirely within the territory of the United States. It is nearly 500 kilometers long, 190 kilometers wide, and as previously mentioned, the total surface area of the lake is 58,000 square kilometers, with a shoreline that stretches approximately 2,575 kilometers. There are over 12 million people living around the shores of Lake Michigan. Many cities in northern Michigan focus on tourism, capitalizing on the beauty of the lake. This presents a wonderful opportunity for these lakes to become famous in North America. Lake Michigan is also known for experiencing a large number of unexplained phenomena, including a series of mysterious disappearances of ships and airplanes. Until now, the causes remain unresolved, and many people even compare Lake Michigan to the Bermuda Triangle. At number four is Lake Huron, the second largest of the five Great Lakes, covering an area of 59,600 square kilometers. It is bordered by Michigan in the United States and Ontario in Canada. The lake is 295 kilometers wide, 229 meters deep, and 331 kilometers long. Lake Huron has several main economic activities, including fishing, timber harvesting, and tourism. This place is also quite developed, with resorts along the lakeshore. In the past, Lake Huron used to have much lower water levels than it does now. Scientists have researched and indicated that about 9,000 years ago, the water level of Lake Huron was approximately 100 meters below its current level. As a result, many natural land bridges formed, becoming migration routes for large flocks of geese. Archaeologists have also discovered construction works 
along the rocky slopes around the lake, which are now completely submerged underwater. Now we only have three largest lakes in the world. In the third position, there is Lake Victoria. This lake is located in Africa, spanning across the territories of Tanzania, Uganda, and Kenya. It is also the largest tropical lake on Earth. Lake Victoria is the main reservoir of the Nile River and is home to 200 different species of fish, providing livelihoods for hundreds of thousands of people living around the lake area. 80% of the water in the lake is rainwater. The first records of Lake Victoria were made by Arab traders, who specialized in trading gold, ivory, and slaves. Around the lake, many prehistoric relics have been found, indicating that people have lived here since ancient times. Many islands on the lake have beautiful landscapes, making them popular tourist and resort destinations. In the second position is Lake Superior. With a surface area of 82,100 square kilometers, a truly impressive figure. It is nearly as large as the country of Austria and almost comparable in size to the United Arab Emirates. This is the largest freshwater lake in the world. As the lake in the first position that we are about to mention is not a freshwater lake, but a saltwater one. Lake Superior, or also known as the Upper Lake. This lake is located between the United States and Canada, storing about 10% of the world's unfrozen fresh water. You can find more stories about Lake Superior on the EarthX channel. Finally, the largest lake in the world, which we commonly refer to with a very special name, is the Caspian Sea, or the Caspian Lake. With an area of up to 371,000 square kilometers, its size is nearly as large as Japan and even larger than Germany. Why is it still called a lake despite being so large? That's because it doesn't directly border any ocean or sea. The Caspian Sea is sandwiched between Europe and Asia. It was once part of the ancient Mediterranean region, but due to the movement of tectonic plates, it became separated from the Mediterranean Sea and turned into a saltwater lake. Surrounded by continents, the Caspian Sea has several water sources, with the Volga River being a major one. The Soviet Union once constructed a canal to connect the Caspian Sea with the Sea of Azov and the Black Sea. The water in the Caspian Sea is neither fresh nor excessively salty it has a salinity level of about one-third that of seawater. Today, the Caspian Sea is famous for its salted fish eggs and the oil industry. Thank you all for your interest and for following along with this story, the story of the top 10 largest lakes in the world. If you find it interesting, you can press the subscribe button, the notification bell, and share the channel. And now, I would like to say goodbye.